You know, they've done a great job. I think they're averaging 240-something yards a game, rushing or something like that. I don't know exactly what it is, uh, but it's a lot. Uh, they got real good backs. You know, they got one great back. He could play anywhere. I uh, don't know his name. is number three. Uh, he's been hurt. I uh, hope he gets well next week. Uh, and uh, but he's he's really good. He, he's a difference maker. Uh, he'll be a load. Uh, the other guys are a little bit smaller, quick. Uh, they do a good job. Uh, the offensive line is is really really good. Sound football players, five year guys, all of them in graduate school. Uh, they played together a long time. Uh, they do a great job of uh, getting the second level on linebackers as good as anybody we've played so far. Uh, and uh, so they'll be a challenge. Uh, do, they, do, they, do they do anything unique with their rushing scheme? No, no, it's just the, the inside zone and uh, some stretch plays, and, uh, but they execute, you know. Uh, they can create increases in there if you don't have enough people in the box. And that gets to, to be a problem sometimes with some of their formations, some of their personnel groupings. So uh, uh, they remind me a lot of Baylor. Uh, you know, as far as their offensive scheme. What's the, scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With uh, the turnovers, interceptions are starting to come, maybe not in bunches, but at a greater rate. What uh, Coach Rhodes referred to as snowball effect sometimes in getting takeaways. Is that something you've discerned as well in your many years of coaching? Yeah, you know, some teams just have a knack. You know, they're going to get their share, you know, and uh, some teams, you know, you struggle to get one, maybe two <laughs> every two or three games. Yeah. And uh, so if we can keep on building, you know, and our kids are, are excited about that part of it, you know, when we talk to them on Sunday and we say we won the turnover battle, mm -hmm. you know, it gives them a lot of pride. And uh, so they'll work harder in trying to create that. So uh, we hope it snowballs in a big way the rest of the season. Do guys have comp competitions? Sam Richardson mentioned the D-back. mentioned the guys will say, hey, you know, TJ got two. We got to up it up. I mean, after coaching so many great defenses, have you seen teams have creative sort of competitions? And yeah, sort of you know, that's that's the thing. Uh, two or three years ago, when we had a, and I remember we had a good many turnovers. And we our kids come, uh, competed in practice who could strip the ball, who could get the most interceptions. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the linebackers would challenge the DBs, DBs challenge the linebackers, linebackers challenge the defensive fronts for turnover, uh, fumbles and things like that. So you, if, if you can't force that on them, you can encourage it. But if they ever get that, you know, that uh, going within the, the groups, then it, it's a big help. It, it just creates, uh, you know, uh, an awareness. When it comes to adapting to 